Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Georgina and on this channel I pretty much just show my life which includes makeup, skincare, fashion, food and all that good thing. All that good thing? All that good stuff. <laughs> so if that sounds like something you're interested in then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified on when I post a new video. Today's video, you can probably tell I've got some makeup on, anything on my eyes or anything on my lips, because I wanted to film like some Halloween looks and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for three easy Halloween looks that anyone can do. And you really don't need many products or many things and if you were going out for Halloween or like a party or if you're going trick-or-treating and you want something sort of Halloween-y on but nothing too crazy then I feel like one of these looks might be the best thing for you. First look I've actually kind of done on my Instagram before hopefully that's that reels up by the time you watch this if not it will be soon so keep an eye out but all you really need is an eyeshadow palette that's got at least a black eyeshadow in. So I'm using this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose palette. And I'm going to use, like you can tell, I literally only filmed the real I'm talking about the other day. So this eyeshadow brush has still got black eyeshadow on it, which is fine. You just need like a compact, like, eyeshadow brush and literally I'm just going to pick up the black eyeshadow which you're just going to sort of swipe it on my eyelid and blend it all out you really don't have to be precise with this look so if you do apply it quite messily then it's fine because you'll see it you'll see why in a minute and then I'm just going to use a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend it all out and pretty much I just repeat those steps until it's like quite a dark black <laughs> eyeshadow brush I used earlier with the I'm not going to put any more product on but I'm just going to sort of swipe it with the tip under my eye my if you've watched my reel then you know I pretty much just did that put a red lip on and we were good to go but for today to make this a little bit more Halloween-y and not so like simple because um, you could just do this which is fine but I'm gonna use some of these sort of gem eye stickers I got these off Amazon I got like a whole like set and there's tons more so I'm gonna use some of these to try and sort of I don't really know I just wanted to try like try them out so my plan is can you tell I'm kind of winging all this I've never actually tried any of these looks before they're just all sort of made up in my head using the, the sort of like diamond kind of shaped gems and some tweezers I'm gonna stick it under this eye <laughs> like so with the one of the reds just underneath it like so i'm just gonna repeat that on the other side all 
always be careful, they are not even, always be careful if you are applying gems under your eyes. Because, especially big gems like this one, just make sure you've got like tweezers or something. Don't try and apply them with your hands because it's just impossible and you might hurt yourself. And I don't want that to happen. This is like the trickiest part, trying to get them as even as possible. Now, do I leave it like this? You could just leave it like this. Or I was thinking, so this is the parts I love about makeup, just sort of winging it and playing around and Halloween is one of those times of year. Even though I'm not that bothered by Halloween, I always love doing my makeup because you can really, I feel like for Halloween you can really just go for it and like no one will judge what it looks like. So if you do mess up, it'll be fine. I think I'm gonna use now some of these pearls. I might use some of the smaller ones. Like I say, if you can't tell, I'm winging all this. I'm gonna put it next to the red. <laughs> Nice, okay, yeah. Other side. I think I'm actually quite happy with that. Very simple. Like literally just put black eyeshadow on my lids and then some gems, which I think look really nice. But this is the fun part. I'm going to be using the Laura, Laura, L'Oreal <laughs> Paris Matte Liquid Lipstick in Forgive My Sin. This red, if you've not tried this lipstick and this red, then go and try it because this is such a pretty, this is like my perfect red. I use this at Christmas and I'm using it today for my Halloween. And the Dofa is is very different. Um, you do get a lot of product on the brush, but honestly, so nice. So I'm just gonna apply this to my lips and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> red as well matches really nicely with the, like, the red gem back in with the black eyeshadow with my finger never actually tried this before so i don't know if it's gonna work but we can see i'm literally just gonna like dab it on the center of my lips Kind of worked and to be honest it's gone quite messy from where i've just been like smudging it but i feel like you can kind of get away with it with halloween so this is my first look done so simple definitely one of the easiest literally you need a black eyeshadow a red lipstick and you don't even need to do the gems you can literally probably just do the red lipstick and the eyeshadow but i wanted to be extra because i'm extra but first look, success. For this next look, I kept on the black eyeshadow from the first one. So that's your first step. But your second step is with my big fluffy brush that I've lost. <laughs> big fluffy eyeshadow brush. Just pick up kind of any type of orange on that brush only a little bit and you're gonna just smoke out the edges of the black eyeshadow with the orange so it kind of goes like a 
like a murky kind of browny orange kind of colour. So you do that around the edges of your black eyeshadow. And then I'm going to be using um, kind of like a, this is the, oh, I don't know how you pronounce this brand, but I'll show you it. I got it off Amazon if I'm, oh, did I get, I don't know. I ever got this off Amazon or someone gave it to me as a present, <laughs> but I'm going to be using this kind of burnt orange kind of colour and I'm going to do kind of like a halo eye. So I'm just picking that colour on my finger. It's so, so beautiful. It's going to do like a halo eye with this orange. And then with the fluffy brush that you did your orange with, just pat out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh. Stunning. Oh, I love that colour. Uh, so you just repeat the process on the other eye, of course. on the first look i never put mascara on i think because i put black um eyeshadow on um that you can't really see my lashes anyway but you can go without mascara or i probably would put mascara on but as i did the first one without mascara i'm just gonna leave this one without mascara as well use this nude lipstick from physicians formula because i wanted this look to be about the eyes so I'm just going to put something nude on my lips. Look number two, a little bit more simpler and like if you were just, you wanted something kind of Halloween-y on but nothing too crazy, I feel like this could be the look for you because it's very simple and very easy. You literally need like an, a black eyeshadow, an orange eyeshadow and an orange kind of glitter and you're all good really. So this is my second Halloween look. For this last look, it's not, you may think because I've got tape on my eyes um, that it's going to be difficult but I personally don't think it's that difficult. Um, compared to the other two, probably, because there's a few more steps, but I think it's still quite an easy look in my opinion. Uh, so this I'm going to go for more of like a red kind of devil y look. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using the You Can Be Fruit Punch eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use kind of like a fluffy compact kind of brush and I'm going to put that red all over my lid and then all I'm gonna do with a fluffy eyeshadow brush I'm just gonna pick up the exact same red from the exact same palette I'm kind of gonna smoke it out which is why the tape is here and if you're wondering where I got this tape from got it off Amazon good old Amazon coming in for the for the eye helps with the gems and now some tape so I'm going to start it at my crease and just wing it out removing the tape and seeing if they actually match mm. 
This one's definitely thicker, but that's fine. That's fine. We can we can sort and adjust. So if there is one side that's a bit like different. The side, so like like I said, this side's a bit thicker at the top here. So what I'm going to do with like the excess is sort of wing out the top of this one just to try and get them to match a little bit more. I think this might be my favourite. Loving it. So simple. I literally used one colour. So I could leave it like this. Might just put you again, you might not even really see it on camera. But I'm just gonna use the XX Revolution XX Flex eyeshadow palette in Dynamite. And I'm gonna use this red. And I'm just gonna put it in the inner corners just to give my eyes a little bit more definition. Like I say, you might not even really notice on camera. You can sort of see it. It's just to give it in real life some more definition. So it's not all just, you could very easily just leave it one color, and you know, you'll be fine. But I'm picky. <laughs> mascara on with this look because you definitely could notice in this look that I've got no mascara on so I'm just going to use the Max Factor Bowl Slash Effect Mascara If we're going red, we're going for red. So I'm going to use the same L'Oreal. Why do I keep saying L'Oreal? L'Oreal uh, matte liquid lipstick in for Give My Sin. look done a very just like like i say like a devil inspired kind of look very simple i literally just used as you saw one red eyeshadow and a red lipstick and obviously that bit of glitter but this one like i say it's still a very easy look it's just trying to make the like sharp points like defined and keeping them defined which i know people struggle with so i do recommend buying like a tape or something and just sort of placing it where you would like but yeah this is the final look and i'm really happy with it i don't know which looks my favorite though it's between this one and the first one i think the second one was nice but yeah definitely out of the first and the second one but let me know in the comments which of these three looks was your favourite. That's all I have for you today. If you do ever recreate any of these looks or if you sort of do them but change them to a style that you like, then please tag me um, on Instagram because I would love to see your recreations and if any of you did do this for, even if it wasn't for Halloween but you just wanted to recreate it, um, please do still tag me because I would honestly love to still see it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please just give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified on when I post a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Also, happy Halloween. <laughs> Bye.